Hello, I'm Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RackN, and this is a short Digital Rebar V4.6 and beyond video. We have enhanced the install process for Digital Rebar to make it faster and simpler and also make licensing faster and simpler to ensure that people's trials have all features enabled, uh, something people were missing in the past. And so in order to tell you that, I want to give you a short intro video of how to get Digital Rebar installed. There are other videos that will show you how to boot VMs, boot uh, virtual machines, attach containers, cloud instances, whatever infrastructure you want to attach to Digital Rebar. We have videos for that. This is just about the very basic install. And if you go to portal.rackend.io, it'll bring up our base system with install instructions. You can also visit our docs, of course. And from there, it's going to give you a very simple curl instruction to run our install. And if I attach to my install virtual machine, has internet connections, 50 gigs of drive, so I can upload ISOs for installing and provisioning and things like that, and simply paste in this uh, stable installer, give it some basic installation, and it will start the install process. Very, very simple. Uh, this can also be used for upgrades, for removing the system, uh, installing it in dev mode, running it as a container. There are a lot of different options baked into this install script, uh, which I encourage you to review and check out the help for, because it is uh, quite a complete process. After a little while, this system will complete its running, and we will be able to log in. So now the system is ready for login, and to log in, I can simply uh, visit the site. I could type it in here. Uh, instead, I'm going to visit that uh, newly installed 192.168.56.100. Port 8092 is what Digital Rebar uses for its install site. And you'll notice the first thing I'm prompted with is a need to accept a self-signed certificate. Digital Rebar's APIs are HTTPS, and because this is a new site, we self-generate a certificate. I have to accept that. I need to do my initial login, which the hint for is right here. Rocket skates, rocket skates. And once I've done that, the license prompt will come up. I can simply provide my name, my contact information, and my handle, or omit that information if you want to identify yourself later. Go through, provide information, Slack signups, and things like that that might be interesting move forward through the privacy policy, terms of use, and then simply download the license. Now, if you've already created a license and gone through this process once, you can reuse that license strictly by doing an upload license process. Take the license you have, upload that into the system, and get running. Once you've done that, the system uh, will, if you've done it automatically, it will have generated it correctly. If this is a new endpoint, I can go to the licensing section, click check and update my license, and have it automatically added into the registration system. Uh, if you add a new digital re rebar endpoint, you can simply do that. If you need to extend your license, you will be prompted for a process by which you can ask for a simple license extension. Once you've installed that license, you are completely ready to go with digital rebar. The Trial license is an enterprise license, and most of the features available for enterprise customers will be available for your trial. And the first place to visit is the System Bootstrap Wizard. This will walk you through step by step all of the configuration that you need to do to have a successful digital rebar trial. It only takes a couple of minutes, and I suggest that you go through it. At this point, there are many other videos in our library that will guide you through the next steps of your digital rebar adventure. I hope this was helpful and got you on your way. Thanks a lot.